We open today's session with a speech to be delivered by the speaker, myself, during this session, November 6th. So my esteemed uh, colleagues in the house, we open today's session with excitement and anticipation for another period of robust deliberations that highlight the process of democratic legislation. We are back on track with our parliamentary duties and as I recommended during my closing remarks before the adjournment five weeks ago, we return with revitalized and full of creative, innovative energies as we again face the rigors of creating laws. I am filled with emotions primarily of pride and confidence for the list of achievements we have delivered in the name of progress, stability, and equality. These achievements include the approval of all 20 LEDAC priority measures three months ahead of schedule, the passage on third and final reading of the 2024 General Appropriations Bill in a timely and transparent manner, and the approval of 10 of the 17 measures identified by President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. in his State of the Nation address in July. All these are truly commendable for the institution where passions and power struggles permeate the complicated process of lawmaking. Our efforts did not go unrecognized as evidenced by the fact that according to the latest surveys by reputable polling groups, we received the highest performance rating of the third quarter of 2023. That's all about you, the House. I'm also elated to report that the most recent survey by Okta Research indicate we are on the right track in identifying and addressing the problems and issues that confront our Kababayans in their daily lives. I share this honor with you, my dear colleagues, for even under the lofty demands placed upon us, we succeeded in fulfilling our legislative responsibilities in a noble, rules-governed, and quality-oriented manner. Kung hindi dahil sa sipag at suporta ninyong lahat, hindi natin may babalik ang tiwala ng mamayan sa Kongreso. Ang mataas ng pakilala ng publiko sa inyong speaker at sa ating kapulungan ay bunga sa ating pagkakaisa at sama-samang pakikilos. Ito rin ay pakilala na tama ang ating ginagawa sa institusyon nito. Mahirap mang gawin ang ilang desisyon na ating hinaharap na patunayan natin na nasa tamang panig tayo sa kaisaysayan. I would also like to express and reiterate our unwavering commitment to conduct our proceedings openly, that is, with transparency, and as your humble leader and servant, I am fully aware of the magnitude of dedication that each member presents to our nation and the Filipino people. Hence, I am prepared to stand before anyone and vehemently defend our actions and decisions even in the face of issues that threaten our institution's integrity. We have consistently upheld the principles associated with democracy, representation, fairness, pluralism, and even dissent. As you are well aware of that, despite all the hard work we have done, to accomplish the goals we have set, certain sectors or individuals with misplaced priorities choose to malign and tarnish the positive image of this very institution we labored hard to achieve. <clears throat> My fellow legislators, it is true that we, the members of this 300-plus strong chamber, compose a cluster of high-minded individuals possessing a diversity of passionate views and different political perspectives. However, we remain steadfast as we set our differences aside and become fiercely united whenever the institution we courageously devote 
our efforts to, or any individual member of this chamber for that matter, is being threatened by opportunistic motives that aim to distract us from fulfilling our mandate. Nakakaiba man tayo ng bananawa at paniniwala, nakakaisa tayo kumindig kung inaatake ang ating institusyon. Hindi rin natin papayagan ang sino man na pigilan tayo sa pagkampanan ng ating mandato sa ating mga kababayan. As a major part of this mandate is open to provide honest and credible public service, one aspect of which is exercising the power of the purse, a constitutional obligation that entails careful and judicious examination of the national expenditure program. That being said, the House of Representatives during the budget deliberations a few months ago did not miss a beat in dissecting and scrutinizing and deliberating every figure and item in the 2024 budget proposal. And we have an alert minority to thank for their doing their share of the spade work in digging into the finer details of the budget. <laughs> the House was never lenient, nor did it favor anyone. The entire process was dedicated to uplifting the lives of our fellow citizens and staying true to the fundamental principles of the system of checks and balances in the government. Wala pong personal dito, trabaho lang. And as the speaker, I am telling you in no uncertain terms that every centavo that was approved for spending under the 2024 National Expenditure Program will be judiciously spent. Let not our hard work be undermined by a dissatisfied few whose only intentions to sow divisiveness, and instead let our output speak for our loyalty to our country the Constitution, and the entire Filipino. My dear colleagues, our defense against those who endanger the integrity of the House of Representatives is to fulfill our utmost priority, which is to bring forth the most significant and responsive pieces of legislation. By complementing the legislative agenda of the President, we stay true to our sworn duty despite pressure from all fronts. Our most important clients, the constituents we are duty-bound to serve, expect nothing less than the results founded on honesty, trustworthiness, and moral uprightness, non-negotiable demands that we must safeguard and deliver. Esteemed members of this chamber, since the moment I was elected as speaker, it has always been this leadership's rallying point to pursue unity and ensure a fair and equitable distribution of government resources for the development of our regions, regardless of political affiliations. I emphasize then that politics of division has no place in this chamber. This still holds to this day. Only now I reiterate this with a strong resolve and greater conviction. But let it be said, never must we countenance or allow others not so likely minded individuals who choose to malign or put down the image of this institution and dictate the direction we must go. I urge everyone to really rally behind our true moral compass, the will of the Filipino people. Tatayo ako laban sa sino man na mananakot sa atin para masunod lamang ang gusto nila. Itindig ako tayong lahat para sa kapanganan ng bayan. Let us focus on the task at hand. When our goals are aligned, we could be an excellent force propelling our country into unbridled progress. Let us ensure that our actions will promote development in all spheres of both the government and society. I have faith 
in each and every one of you, and together we will deliver. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas.